Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what and the right and wrong of police interactions. This episode covers live streaming, swatting, and reasonable suspicion, and is brought to us by Law and Crime Network's channel. Be sure to check out the description below and give them the credit that they deserve. On August 8, 2022, officers from the Cincinnati Police Department in Cincinnati, Ohio, responded to the home of YouTuber Darren Ishow Speed Watkins, who, as of the date of writing this episode, has 13.7 million subscribers, after law enforcement received received a call from someone claiming that Mr. Watkins had a firearm and was going to hurt himself and his family. The ensuing interaction was captured on an officer's body camera. Hey, how you doing? You all right? Come here real quick. Just turn around real quick. I'll explain. You're not in any trouble. What the heck? Come to the back. Yo, bro, bro, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, I'll tell hold you on, why. Hold hey, on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey, we're here to talk. Hey, hey. I'll tell you why. <laughs> we're here to talk. Bro, what is wrong with these motherfuckers, bro? I swear to God. It's like the dumbest thing, dude. Like, then talk, bro. You don't have to immediately arrest him. Like, you do not at any point have to handcuff the man, okay? Not even a man, a kid, by the way. Good. Whoa, Relax. Come to the back. Relax. Come to the back. Yo, get my phone, bro. Get, get my phone. Get my phone. It's right, right there. Right there. Oh. Press go live, bro. Press go live. Press it, bro. Right now, bro. We'll explain. Press public, bro. Press public. Real shit, bro. What is going on right here? Come on, right. We're going to talk to you. I just want to point something here. Like, for people who don't understand, handcuffing someone is an act of violence, okay? It might be a justifiable act of violence given the circumstances, but in this one, it's not, okay? But it is a violent action nonetheless. It is straight up. Uh, uh it, it the reason why I'm saying this is because like if you've never been handcuffed you'll not understand this but like the way that your body is supposed to fucking uh the way that your body is supposed to contort when you are under uh when you're being handcuffed is it hurts it is literally a painful experience and it you're not supposed to be able to stand like that that's kind of like the whole point of it it's unnatural it hurts your shoulders it hurts your fucking uh wrists your arms so it is a violent action. Maybe it's not like beating his skull in with a fucking baton, but it's still a violent action. Go loud, bro. What, is, what did I do? Bro, press it, dude. Press it, bro. Press it. What did I do? I didn't do nothing, though. No, no. We We're going to explain it. Take a minute and listen. Someone in your name called. Hear me out. You ready? What did I do, bro? You're going to listen to me? He's trying to explain to you. Yeah, we're going to explain to you. Bro, I didn't, yo, bro, oh my God, bro. Let's I talk swear to him I didn't do nothing, bro. Chill. Away from this guy. And we are going to explain. Oh my You're going to have to make it with me. Thank you, buddy. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, bro. What's going on? That's what that is. Y'all know what swatting is? Yeah, it okay. happened to his boy Aiden last night. Okay, so. They're so, like, I can't believe the 17-year-olds are the smart ones in this situation. I can't believe that, like, I show speed is, and, and his, his friend here are the actual smart ones in the situation. Like, that's, that's unique, man. You don't expect it. Why didn't they cuff him, by the way? That's weird. Oh, this is one of those silly things that people, yeah. Well, and he didn't you know who he is, right? Here. I don't know who he is. I don't know what any of that. Right now. I okay. don't care about it. We don't care. Well, about I'm just letting you know that's the situation. Like that. Okay. Got yeah, that's, that's what Whoever called the cops needs to be in prison. Well, actually, it is a lengthy jail sentence. When you call the cops on someone in the United States of America, you're trying to get them killed. Okay. That's why there's a concept such as suicide by cop, as a matter of fact, which is usually what happens in these SWAT calls where they say, oh, this is, uh, you know, uh, they basically call the police and say they, they've killed. Uh, their friends, and they're barricaded in their house with weapons, okay? Because they want to bring in the SWAT team. So, um, for that reason, it is very illegal. It is illegal. That's what it is. Someone called him in. I, you can look on what... No, I believe on. you. I, I believe that that's... We've, we've been live for the past two hours. Live doing what? Waiting for this to happen? No. Look at this fucking dickhead. He thinks they swatted themselves. 
fucking piece of shit. What a garbage, what a garbage scumbag, dude. Oh, waiting for this to happen. Live for what? Live to fuck your mom, dude. You fucking piece of shit piglet. You dumb motherfucker. What is this? Bro, be mad at the piece of shit who fucking called you over there and exhausted, you know, the underfunded resource of the police department. Don't be mad at the fucking people that you're brutalizing. What a fucking asshole. Oh, my God. It's going to piss me off. Or, uh, he plays video games live on stream. Like I said, there's 100,000 people watching. Okay. That's what he does. We're going to shut that part down for right now. There's a full time bunch turn it off. You don't got to do that. We're, we're going to do that while we have a conversation. Over the protests of Mr. Watkins' friend, the officer turns off the live stream on Mr. Watkins' phone while they... Loki, that's the smart thing to do. They should have fucking done that beforehand. They should have never... They should have never had this interaction on camera. They are young and they're dumb and they don't realize it. Aiden does it too. He's fucking stupid. Like, it's not... You're not supposed to do that because that's the goal. That's the goal of this water is to, you know, do that discuss the situation. As we have discussed many times on ATA, the Supreme Court has not explicitly held that the First Amendment protects the right to film government officials performing their duties in public. However, based on relevant Supreme Court First Amendment precedent, six of the 12 U.S. Courts of Appeals have recognized a First Amendment right to film law enforcement officers while they are carrying out their official duties in a public place. Notably, the Sixth Circuit, which has jurisdiction over Ohio, is one of the six Courts of Appeals that have not yet acknowledged that filming the police is covered by the First Amendment. However, even in jurisdictions that have determined that recording law enforcement officers is protected speech, the issue as to whether the same safeguards apply to live streaming is largely unsettled. In the 2021 case of Sharp versus Winterville Police Department, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of North Carolina, which is part of the Fourth Circuit, a jurisdiction that has not recognized the First Amendment right to film the police, held that officers did not violate the First Amendment when they ordered Dijon Sharp, who was a passenger in a vehicle subject to a routine traffic stop to stop live streaming the encounter. Claiming a safety issue, the officers told Mr. Sharp that he could film the interaction, but he could not simultaneously broadcast it. The court determined that, quote, assuming without deciding that the First Amendment entitled Sharp to record the traffic stop from inside the car during the traffic stop, the First Amendment did not entitle Sharp to live stream the traffic stop from inside the car during the traffic stop. And that, quote, in light of existing precedent and the differences between recording and live streaming from inside the stopped car during the traffic stop, the court rejects Sharp's argument that the First Amendment provided him a right to live stream a traffic stop from inside the stopped car. Mr. Sharp appealed this decision, and in early November 2022, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals heard arguments for the case. However, instead of focusing on the First Amendment implications of this case, it was reported that the judges' questioning seemed to center around whether an officer can prevent an individual from live streaming without violating the Fourth Amendment prohibition on unreasonable seizures. As of the date of writing this episode, this case is still pending, and it will be interesting to see what the Fourth Circuit decides, and on what constitutional grounds it bases its decision. I literally don't understand how cops are expected, uh, even though they fuck that up all the time, to have a body camera on at all times, uh, as they should. And yet, you can't live stream them? Like, what the fuck? That's weird. That's weird. I, I don't know. I, I think you should be able to live stream cops. I think that's bullshit. Yo, chat. Spam L in the chat. <laughs> They're making us turn it off. But we'll keep y'all updated. He said spam fail in the chat? Or spam L's in the chat? Is that what he's saying? They're making us turn it off. Well, his dad's out front. We're talking yeah, we're to talking to his dad out front. I'm just his cameraman. That's all I am. But he was in Miami. He, same thing happened to him last night. There's it's something going on right now. They're swatting. It's the thing that people do. They find that they, his address has been leaked. Oh, somebody got killed doing that. Now, yeah. Where was that? That was... Uh, mm. That's it's true. Out, he... Wow. Surprising. A cop that actually knows that... Uh, a, a, a cop that actually knows, like, case precedent. That's weird. That's... Odd, unique, interesting. Uh, he's right. He knows the risk of it. Yeah. That's Maybe he's just... And yeah, that makes it kind of worse, doesn't it? <laughs> Think about it. So you're saying somebody... Oh, I know for Called sure. us. Yeah. I know for sure. With some BS. Yeah. And if you if you don't believe me, you can... We literally just ended the live stream. He's been streaming for the past three and a half hours. Two hours. Two and a half, three and a half hours. Okay. You can see everything that he's done for the past two and a half hours. Okay. So... 
This is an insane conversation to have with a cop. They are in the wrong, brother. I know you're like 17 and stuff, so you have no idea. No, they fucked up. You are the victim in this situation. Why are you like apologizing to him? There, you can walk out here with us. Yeah, yeah. leave your phone there. Well, here, I'll carry it for you. So okay. Mr. Watkins' friend explains to the officers that Mr. Watkins has been, quote, swatted and offers to show them footage from Mr. Watkins' live stream from the last few hours. Generally, swatting involves fake emergency calls claiming that a violent crime is about to take place or is already in progress, with the goal of provoking a significant police response, often including the deployment of special weapons and tactics, or SWAT teams, to the home of the individual being swatted. A large portion of the swatting incidents that occur involve individuals such as Mr. Watkins, who engage in online gaming and live streaming. Swatting can typically be prosecuted under Section 2917.32 of the Ohio Revised Code, which makes it a crime to, quote, report to any law enforcement agency an alleged offense or other incident within its concern, knowing that such offense did not occur. However, if the state legislature passes pending legislation House Bill 462, it would create a separate offense that specifically addresses swatting. The proposed text states that, quote, no person by... I'm not gonna lie, this is the one instance where cops and the people that they're fucking uh, swatting are in unison, in agreement, okay? Usually, cops are in contention with the people that they declare suspects. This is one instance where they actually unironically fucking hate it because a lot of them are gung-ho and they think that, like, this is a fun opportunity for them and they get to kill zero dogs when they swat someone, so they get very upset. It's like, well, they'll say it's a, it's a... They're exhausting police resources. They don't like that. So this is one of those instances where, like, if they were better at their fucking jobs, they would actually arrest some of these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Sometimes they do. Wish they were better at it by means of a telecommunications device or telecommunications service shall purposely trigger an emergency response when no emergency response is warranted by reporting or causing to be reported false or misleading information to a law enforcement agency, emergency service provider, or public safety answering point. Whoever violates this section is guilty of swatting. Additionally, many swatting incidents can be prosecuted under federal law. For instance, Section yeah. 1038 of it is Title already it is already a federal States crime. Code prohibits engaging, quote, in any conduct with with intent to convey false or misleading information under circumstances where the information may reasonably believed or where the information indicates that certain criminal activity has taken place, is taking place, or will take place, including homicide or attempted homicide. Likewise, Section 875 of Title 18 of the United States Code prohibits interstate threats, stating that, quote, whoever transmits in interstate or foreign commerce any communication containing any threat to injure the person of another shall be fined under this title or or imprisoned not more than five years or both without knowing the exact details of where the caller in this situation was located. Hasanabi, yeah, cops totally wake up and go to work hoping they get to shoot a dog. And that's a little bit of, that's what we call a joke, okay? I mean, they sure shoot a lot of dogs. I mean, they might as well like it if they're going to shoot that many fucking dogs. They kill more dogs than motherfucking PETA, okay? Suck my dick. But no, what I'm actually talking about is the, the gung-ho cops that actually get to see action for the first time. You know what I mean? This is kind of like what they live for a little bit. A lot of cops like that. This is like the one opportunity, if it's a real one, that to, to like, you know, apprehend a suspect or some shit. It depends, though. So a lot of them are like Uvalde cops, where they don't actually want to do that. As a federal agent, I hold the Academy record for most flashbangs thrown into a baby crib in 30 seconds. <laughs> um... Yeah, they get the they get the LARP as like operators and shit. Ultimately, the chatter who's asking like, how do you stop swatting? One, you arrest, you conduct investigations and actually figure out who the fuck is doing the swatting and arrest them. Okay, you jail them. Two, the the way to do it is by whitelisting. Um, if your if your uh, address is is you know swatted regularly, okay. Um. I have, you know, many friends who are streamers. Uh, this is sometimes a problem. Uh, you whitelist your home address, and cops know not to fucking send the artillery uh, when someone 
when a swatting occurs. You know what I mean? ...and what they explicitly said. It is challenging to know which... Of course, the reality is that if you still have a gung-ho watch commander, it doesn't matter. They will still send... Like, there are a couple of unique instances. Like, let's say if you are... The Sheriff's Department is a separate white list, list than the LAPD. Depending on what municipality that you live in, it might fall under the jurisdiction of different police forces. So in that case, like if it, one police force has whitelisted you, it's not like a universal whitelist. The other police force might not have whitelisted you. So uh, depending on how fucking uh, gung-ho the, the watch commander is, as a matter of fact, they can still send a unit your way. They can still send a unit your way even if they are... Um, even if your address is whitelisted and they know that it's a, you know, YouTuber's home address. Um, and, and that's it. There's like really nothing you can do about it. Like Ludwig was whitelisted. Cause you do like a, you do a swatting like that where you use all those resources, you get a whitelist. So I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely shocked that that happened to him twice. So I don't know how that happened. He probably had a fucking gung ho ass, uh, you know, they, they probably had a gung ho ass watch commander who thought like, oh, this is a real one. Let's just go. Anyway. Don't they know the number calling in is spoofed? It doesn't matter. They still have to fucking send a unit there because... They have to do their due diligence. Saying gung-ho is racist? Wait, really? <laughs> what? Son of a bitch. Fucking take 30 seconds off, dumbass. Partner dumbass. With a fucking check. With a partner check mark particular crimes they could be charged with for swatting Mr. Watkins. Still, it seems likely that the individual responsible for Mr. Watkins' swatting could be prosecuted for the violation of at least one of these statutes. Listen to me. Someone called a 911 center and said, with your name, that you wanted to hurt your family and hurt yourself. So we, no, came, no. we came to make sure you're okay. All right, just listen to me. Okay. I am a popular streamer. I am a YouTuber, okay? okay come on. I have 10... Let me talk. So guess what? Okay, if, okay, okay. If hold you're on, good, you may be out of these cuffs, but okay. relax. Okay. We're on your side. All right. We're here to make sure you're not going to harm yourself. Um, right? All right. Now, people right. Bro, there's such fucking pieces of shit. Yo, it's because he's black. Straight up. Straight up. They're behaving this way. One, because they're cops. Cops are universally fucking assholes. And two, it's additionally worse because he's a black teenager. Straight up. That's crazy. Oh, we're here to make sure you don't hurt yourself. Motherfucker, you're hurting him. He's in handcuffs. Okay? the fuck do you mean it, it, we're already past that point i've never seen a white streamer get cuffed uh my friend pretty universal i'm just i'm gonna tell it to you like it is it's universal okay they do it regardless trust okay just trust me they do it Docs people right oh yeah 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 All right. let me talk let me talk okay I am a popular streamer. I have 10 million subs. You know what a streamer is, right? Uh, sure, I guess. Okay, so tell us about the streamer. What'd you say? Did I didn't say, do nothing. Were you trying to be funny? No, I didn't do nothing. Well, they still think it's his fault. Bro, they're so fucking stupid. Why do they think it's his fault? What the fuck is going on? Apparently someone called a help center out in Iowa and said, and I want to kill myself, my family. No, he's lying. It's, it's, Just hear it's me obviously out. a lie. It's a lie. Well, okay? we, we're here to make sure, right? Oh, that's not even, that's a 5150. They didn't even want to fucking, wait, what? Yes. Because of school shootings, right? Yeah. No, 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 never mind. Actually, it's not a 51. Okay, never mind. Yeah. They, 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 All right, well, let's put you in the car and then guess what? No, I, 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 all right. This is just. I thought they were, I thought they were coming in for a. I thought they were coming in for a fucking uh, a wellness check. This is just, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, like, I'm trying to calm down, know, but it's, 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 it's like, it's, a, right? it, yeah, it's just a like, it's a streamer's like. You think um, they tried yes, to, like, trick you? Yes, yeah, this is streamer's like. They call, somebody, some, somebody call. I know y'all been drinking my house. Are you, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. What? I keep, I just told him that. Exactly. I, I keep telling I'm a We're just trying to figure it out right now. I, I mean, it's not really that much to... 
exactly. This is a prank call. I keep telling y'all. I'm a. I, I can't really explain it to y'all because I'm probably older, but you know, it's just like. How the fuck did you not know about this? This happened so long ago. I I uh, didn't cover it on purpose. I don't cover. I usually don't cover the swatting shit, for obvious reasons. Oh. What Twitch is? Twitch YouTube. Yeah, no yeah. talking about. I mean, you know, I'm famous, you know, and I'm popular, you know. And, and, and they're probably upset, jealous, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, there's there's just trolls. Like it's just common trolls. Well, this was. Oh serious. my. I know, but it's a call. I, that's why we gotta do our job. The officers handcuffed Mr. Watkins and placed him in the back of one of the cruisers. Although the line between a reasonable suspicion-based Terry stop and a probable cause-based arrest can be confusing, courts have consistently held that in some situations, officers may use restrictive methods such as handcuffing and placing a suspect in a police vehicle during a Terry stop without converting it into a full-blown arrest. However, it is uncertain in this situation whether the officers even had the requisite reasonable suspicion required to be able to constitutionally detain Mr. Watkins in any way. As the Supreme Court explained in the 1972 case of Adams versus Williams, quote, Informants' tips, like all other clues and evidence coming to a policeman on the scene, may vary greatly in their value and reliability. One simple rule will not cover every situation. Some tips... This is crazy, bro. It's like... This is just fucking Tips stupid. completely lacking in indicia of reliability would either warrant no police response or require further investigation before a forcible stop of a suspect would be authorized. But in some situations, for example, when the victim of a street crime seeks immediate police aid and gives a description of his assailant, or when a credible informant warns of a specific impending crime, the subtleties of the hearsay rules should not thwart an appropriate police response. Relying in part on this decision, the Supreme Court determined determined in the 1990 case of Alabama v. White that, although an anonymous tip alone seldom justifies a Terry stop, when sufficiently corroborated, it can exhibit, quote, sufficient indicia of reliability to furnish reasonable suspicion that the suspect was engaged in criminal activity and justify an investigatory stop. However, the Supreme Court also held in the 2000 case of Florida v. J.L. that an anonymous tip that an individual was carrying a gun was insufficient on its own to justify a police officer stop and frisk of that person. The court explained that, quote, the tip in the instant case lacked the moderate indicia of reliability present in white and essential to the court's decision in that case. The anonymous call concerning JL provided no predictive information and therefore left the police without means to test the informant's knowledge or credibility. All the police had to go on in this case was the bare report of an unknown, unaccountable informant who neither explained how he knew about the gun nor supplied any basis for believing he had inside information. Given the highly fact-specific level of analysis required for this type of determination, and the limited and conflicting details we have about the individual who called 911 and what he said, it is nearly impossible to predict what a court would decide in this situation. However, if the tip was made anonymously and did not include any information besides Mr. Watkins' name and address... Okay, listen. The point is... Cops are, stop saying it's Kai. This is not Kai. This is I show speed, okay? One, cops have to fucking show up. That's it. They have to. It's their due diligence. They, can, they, they need to fucking show up. The difference between showing up with like eight squad cars and fucking arresting the person and handcuffing them versus, uh, the difference between handcuffing the person and arresting them and like, operating like they are the suspicious party once you have figured out it's a false swatting okay and not doing that is you know good decent human being behavior versus being a fucking piece of shit okay the moment that they realize that oh this is a false call they should have just dropped it like but they still kept them in handcuffs completely unacceptable two they kept prodding him they were like, oh, did you call? Did you do something crazy on your live stream? Did you call the cops yourself? Those are not inferences that you're supposed to make, bro. You think you're so smart? You're a fucking idiot. I don't think I'm smart. I am an idiot, okay? I, I actually am an idiot. But at least I'm smart enough to recognize right here in this moment, what the fuck? How did this guy go from 200K poggers riding with Biden to this? That's crazy. 
Anyway. Divorce court, yeah. The moment that they realize it's a fucking false swatting call, they should have immediately fucking un... Uh, they should have never handcuffed him to begin with, but they should have released him from his handcuffs and stopped prodding him like he called the cops himself. That's fucking insane, okay? That's actually completely unacceptable. It seems likely that a court would conclude that the officers did not have the reasonable suspicion to detain him without additional corroborating evidence. I've never been in the cup on my life, man. Oh, I'm sure you don't have anything on you. Oh, well, I'm about to kill my son. I'm spraying. I know. I, we just got to do our job. Yeah, I, you his mom? Please, they prank in my house. Are you his mom? Yes, okay, they, prank my, they prank our house all the time. Okay. Well, let us figure it out. Oh we, my God, we were concerned. This got to stop. No, y'all taking my son over. No, we're not taking keep him. Keep pranking my son. Well, y'all got him in handcuffs well, right well, now. Well, we're gonna make sure he this. doesn't want to harm himself. Both, no, he ain't gonna harm himself. Uh, in our house we'll right now. You know, I'm on your side. I... That's so fucked up. No, you're not. You're a piece of shit. And that's so sad, dude. That's so fucking sad. Like, what are you figuring out, idiot? God damn it, dude. Holy shit. Got five let kids. Me calm, let, uh, okay, calm down first. You got then talk to him. No well, right come talk to us. It's so weird when cops are like. It's so fucking weird when, when a cop is like, oh, we're worried that he might be uh, a threat to himself. That's why we're just harming him. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you're doing. You're harming him. You're harming him. When you're, when you're fucking keeping him in handcuffs in the back of the squad car, you're harming him. Especially because when you're in the back of the squad car, when you can't even stand upright, now you have to fucking crump forward like this, like crumple up like this with your fucking head hitting the goddamn window so you can fit. It's awful. It is a painful experience that you are subjecting someone who is innocent that you have recognized their innocence to, okay? Fucked up. So we can let him out of cuffs. He's about to go with us. But because of school shootings, we take it serious. I understand that he's not about to kill nobody. He's right. just constant prank. Like, look at that. Constant prank. <laughs> look at that hey, shit. Hey, Sarge, this is his mom. and The police are surrounding my house right now. Is that calls. what they're doing, pranking you guys? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, in, boy. he's um, in handcuffs. Okay, that this is unrelated, but, like, he definitely gets the right meow from his mom, who also says it exactly like he does. This is completely unrelated, but now I know... Now I know where, uh, where he, he got it from. That's what I, I, I actually, Aiden, right, Tiff? Yeah, I know Aiden. It happened to Aiden last night. Same thing. Same thing. We were worried about you. Who said that? Um, well, how do they know? How do they know? They had your address. His name is so These everything. These people was pranking. Y'all gonna have to figure this out. Y'all gonna have to figure it out. I explained them. The SWAT. They're the SWAT. Oh, Let's get him unhooked. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, I'm, it's hard to me, like, it's hard to, like, really explain, like, Tell you what's going on. The officers eventually determined that Mr. Watkins had been swatted and did not pose an actual threat, and they released him from the back of the vehicle. Wow, it is that's unclear crazy. whether Mr. Watkins intends to file. They're so brilliant, dude. They're so fucking brilliant, dude. What is it? Wasn't around much this weekend, but did you cover the story? Another one where two common citizens of the real heroes and the cops tried to take credit before the details came out. I had not seen this. What is this? A chance encounter and a mother's intuition. How two indie women helped find missing Ohio twin. I have not seen this. Michael, I do not cover Ohio news, okay? You know this. ...file a complaint or take any legal action against the officers involved. As of the date of this episode, the individual who swatted Mr. Watkins has not been publicly identified. Overall, the Cincinnati officers get a C. Because although they were not overly aggressive in their demeanor, they hey, repeatedly they didn't kill him. talked over Mr. Watkins. They, yeah, they didn't kill him, so, you know. Watkins, instead of listening to him, and used unnecessarily restrictive detention methods on Mr. Watkins, even after several individuals had explained that this was an instance of swatting. While I appreciate that the officers did not use physical force or otherwise escalate the situation, there was absolutely no reason to handcuff Mr. Watkins and place him in the back of the police cruiser once they confirmed he did not have a weapon on his person, as Mr. Watkins remained cooperative and non-violent throughout the encounter. And by the time they put him in the cruiser, at least two different individuals 
individuals had confirmed that the call was made by a swatter and there was no legitimate threat. The officers repeatedly demonstrated that they did not understand what swatting was. For instance, by making comments implying that Mr. Watkins had made the call himself as a prank. And although I understand that they may not have dealt with this issue before in Cincinnati, Ohio, I would encourage them to educate themselves on the subject, considering how prevalent it has become in the field of modern policing. Mr. Watkins gets an A for maintaining a relatively calm demeanor throughout the encounter, exercising patience while the officers attempted to understand. Yeah, it's like the only time where he was like, he was taking a situation seriously. It's like weird to see, you know what I mean? It's also still pretty funny to rate like someone who is yeah, not an A. He should have gotten a W. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird always to do a victim rating, but hey, you know. Yeah, they should have rated him a W. That's just internet personality persona probably then. He's just straight IRL. No, I don't think so. And the situation, and expressing his disagreement with the officer's overly restrictive methods of detention. While I do not have enough information to make an informed assessment of the constitutionality of the officer's actions, it is certainly feasible that they violated Mr. Watkins' rights by detaining him, handcuffing him, and placing him in the police cruiser, potentially without reasonable suspicion. I commend Mr. Watkins for making rational decisions when faced with an unforeseen, frightening situation. And yeah, I rate the cops an L. And I show speed a W in this interaction? Could have expressed a stronger dissent to his restrictive detention. I certainly understand why he chose to simply comply in this situation. Finally, the swatter gets...